Hello there and welcome to our virtual open day at the University of West of England. My name is Dr Phil Legg, Associate Professor and Programme Leader of the MSc in Cyber Security. I'd like to take a few minutes today to talk to you about all of the exciting things happening in cyber security here at UWE. Within the Department of Computer Science and Creative Technologies, we have been teaching computer security for many years. We have a very successful undergraduate course on cyber security and digital forensics. Our MSc Cyber Security launched in 2018 as a result of establishing new talent within our department and having built a core academic team in cybersecurity. The MSc has been developed from the ground up through the expertise of our team to deliver research informed teaching that aligns with the demands of modern cybersecurity. Our MSc in cybersecurity has been fully certified by the UK government's National Cyber Security Centre, a part of GCHQ. What this means is that our programme, our modules, our staff and our vision has all been documented and scrutinised by experts at NCSC and has been judged to be a leading academic programme within the UK. We are the only academic institution in the Southwest region to have achieved this recognition for our teaching in cyber security. As a computer science department, our programme focuses on the technical aspects of cyber security. We do assume that applicants will have some technical experience of computer programming before starting the course. This may be from undergraduate studies, industry experience or as a hobbyist, but it is crucial that you can demonstrate this clearly in your application. C and Python are languages typically used and so brushing up your skills here is essential. We offer both full-time and part-time study options. Typically, full-time students would have taught sessions on Mondays and Wednesdays, while part-time students would have taught sessions on Wednesdays for the first year and Mondays for the second year. We fully appreciate that students are often juggling study alongside other commitments and so we do keep this structure consistent each year to help students plan their time accordingly. Along with contact hours, there is the requirement for individual study outside of this time. So I do strongly encourage students to factor this into their planning, especially those choosing to study part time. To succeed, make sure you give yourself ample time to absorb content and to work on practical assignments alongside any other external commitments that you may have. The course is made up of seven core taught modules and a research based dissertation project with both full time and part time structure shown here. The MSc programme consists of a variety of topics within the scope of modern cyber security. We start with traditional computer and network security topics, including the use of encryption techniques, how Internet protocols operate and how secure communications can be maintained using techniques such as virtual private networking. We explore topics such as IoT system security, including the development of new lightweight encryption protocols that can function on small, low power devices. Topics such as parallel computing help develop fundamental computer science knowledge whilst exploring security issues in distributed systems. Analysis and verification in concurrent systems explores how formal logic can be used to provide assurances that software conforms to specification to identify and mitigate software security vulnerabilities. In the second term, we look more broadly at topics such as critical national infrastructure and industrial control systems, as well as topics of how to assess and manage risk associated with information in an organisational context 
and also what the future of cyber security is shaping up to look like, exploring topics such as blockchain and artificial intelligence in the context of cyber security. As part of the programme, students will work on a 60 credit dissertation. This is a large self-directed research project of your choice that will be conducted throughout your programme of study. You will be exposed to the research interests of our team as a means to help guide potential project ideas. Your initial ideas will also help us to allocate an appropriate academic supervisor who will work with you to develop your research proposal so that you can succeed in your research study. Our cybersecurity academics conduct research that has been judged as internationally excellent and world leading in accordance to the research excellence framework through journal and conference publications. We collaborate with other higher education institutes and UK industry partners on a variety of research activities, such as connected autonomous vehicles, malware analysis, IoT security, distributed trust using blockchain, and insider threat research. It is this research that we are using to continually develop and inform our teaching. Previous dissertation projects have explored topics such as security vulnerabilities in voice assistants like Amazon Alexa, profiling of malicious activity in home IoT devices, and privacy leakages in predictive text messaging services. Following dissertation research, students may also consider further study, such as PhD research, and we currently have previous cybersecurity graduates pursuing doctoral study with us at URI. We strive to build a dynamic environment for students to work together and interact, not only in their taught modules, but as part of their overall experience at URI. We run a number of events that are open for cybersecurity students on both postgraduate and undergraduate programmes, and we strongly encourage interaction between student cohorts. We run a weekly UE Cyber Seminar for both undergraduate and postgraduates that is an open forum for discussion. We often have invited speakers, open discussion groups, and interactive lab sessions as part of this. We have taken students on field trips, such as the Security Conference in Dundee, which is the largest student-led security conference in Europe, and the Cyber Recoded Careers event in London. We have had students working with us on paid projects as part of a Foundry Enterprise Studio, such as running consultancy penetration testing and running schools outreach projects such as hacking a scale electrics track and hacking a Severo robot. As part of our certified status with NCSC, we are also eligible for their funded summer internship projects, which we have successfully been awarded in each year of the programme running. These internships allow students to experience hands-on academic research whilst also gaining excellent insight into career opportunities at NCSC and presenting their research at the annual NCSC Education Conference. Given the COVID-19 situation, UE has rapidly adapted to online teaching delivery and our department has embraced this change, the greater use of technology in our teaching, including group video conferencing, screen sharing, student presentations, and remote collaborative working. We thrive on using new technology. And under these challenging times, we have been running lectures, tutorials, and practical exercises with students online across the globe so that they can continue to complete their studies with us while safe at home. 
The upcoming academic year will consist of blended learning, making greater use of technology to build on what we have learnt from our new way of working. Large lectures will be delivered online, which will improve accessibility for students. It will also allow students to make better use of contact time with staff to discuss content in greater detail than may be possible in a typical lecture. Discussion groups and one-to-one -one sessions will be facilitated and available, and we will strongly encourage students to form online working groups. Equipment and software will be available for students to use to create a home lab environment. We already issue students with portable hard drives as well as a Raspberry Pi and a Microbit as part of the MSc offer. And we will continue to do this so that students can build a safe and secure home lab environment. The university also provide all students with VMware personal licenses for running virtual machine environments at home, which we use extensively within many of our modules. Students will be able to use screen sharing with tutors so that we can help you with practical exercises, much like the practical labs would have been. I'm confident that even in these challenging times, our subject lends itself to blended learning, and this challenge will be made to be an opportunity. Our teaching materials will be more accessible for students to engage with in ways best suit the needs of each individual student, whilst also allowing students to make much greater use of direct contact hours with academic staff for discussion, debate and critical thinking, the crucial skills that you will develop as part of advanced academic study. There are a host of online resources that I would recommend for preparing to study with us. Programming resources such as cprogramming.com and learnc.org are great for refining knowledge of C programming. For network analysis, malwaretrafficanalysis.net provides a host of exercises for examining packet capture data to understand what has been happening within a network and tools such as Wireshark are invaluable for conducting this kind of activity. Finally, Try Hack Me and Hack the Box are two popular online resources that address practical challenges such as penetration testing of vulnerable systems. These are regularly updated with new content by the community to reflect the nature of new attack vectors that continue to evolve. And so staying up to date and getting hands-on experience here is extremely worthwhile. There are a lot of exciting things happening within UE Cyber. You can find out more details on our Twitter feed at UE Cyber. Here's just a snapshot of activity from invited speakers to our new Foundry Cyber Lab, our exciting new collaboration with Gloucestershire College and the Cheltenham Cyber Security Community and our students presenting their work at popular venues such as the IEEE Cyber Science Conference and B-Sides Bristol. We've covered a lot in this brief overview. I'm really excited to welcome our next cohort onto this fantastic programme, and I'm confident that in our brave new world, that technology will enable us to thrive and do better. If you have any questions, please do get in touch. My email address is phil.leg at ue.ac.uk. Finally, please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I hope to be able to welcome you to the MSc Cybersecurity at UE in the new academic year. Thanks for watching.